Well boys, Christmas has come early and I hope you haven't been naughty because this year's presents are looking pretty wild. Specifically, I'm talking about those 4K 240Hz OLEDs. I'm sure you've heard much about them, especially from me because nobody's losing it more than me over these monitors. It is like God came down and finally kissed us on the forehead and said, you know what? I'm sorry you went through all that here's something to make up for it. And it more than makes up for it because yeah, these monitors are looking really, really good. But the Quantum Dot OLEDs might have just gotten superseded by a new LG OLED that's also gonna be a 32 inch 4K 240 Hertz OLED, except for of course, instead of Quantum Dot OLED, it's gonna be W OLED. And we will talk about the pros and cons between the two different technologies and which one is gonna be right for you. But these specs are looking crazy. According to LG, not only will you be Able to do 4K 240Hz, but apparently you'll also be able to do 480Hz on this display as well. And honestly, I really want to see that because OLED at 480 frames per second is probably going to look like basically a screenshot in motion, something we have never even seen anywhere close to up until this point. Even the 540Hz LCDs with their BFI or black frame insertion really, I think, are going to get absolutely smoked by this when it comes to motion performance, as black frame insertion unfortunately does have still some problems that OLED simply doesn't. Now, of course, you are gonna have to run 1080p to get 480 hertz, which is something I'm not gonna be interested in, especially at 32 inches, but it's going to be very interesting to see just how good that motion is, and I wouldn't be surprised if some professional gamers do start to pick up this monitor, as this will be the fastest display ever created in terms of motion performance, and honestly, the latency is gonna be fantastic as well. But of course, I think everybody watching this video is more interested in that 4K 240Hz performance, and if you wanna know the rest of the specs, apparently it has a color gamut of DCI-P3 98.5%, which looks pretty good, and the response time is gonna be 0.03 milliseconds gray to gray. That sounds exactly how it should, but what might make this display a little bit better in some ways than the Quantum Dot OLED is, of course, not only do you have the higher refresh rate option, but it's also likely that this display will actually get brighter and also the screen coating could make it so that in lighter environments, it's not gonna be as washed out. Now I say that, but it's gonna be apparently using an anti-glare low reflection coating, which let's be honest, we all know that that's gonna be a hideous, disgusting, vile, just yuck! Matte finish, I cannot believe that they are gonna be mangling this display with that finish. And honestly, in the past, this would have been an absolute immediate deal breaker as it is going to destroy the image quality in so many ways. I'm not even gonna get into it because we'd be here all day. But now that I've learned how to buff these things out and I can do it pretty quickly and efficiently, that's honestly no longer a deal breaker for me. I'll just buff it out and it'll look absolutely fantastic. In fact, after buffing this thing out, it's probably gonna look better than the Quantum Dot OLED. However, in saying that, I mean, first of all, of course, if you just want a glossy screen, which everybody should, and you don't wanna buff it out, which by the way, I officially do not recommend doing as it'll void your warranty, well then you're gonna wanna buy the Quantum Dot OLED. Now it's glossy finish isn't perfect, it turns purple when introduced to light, but realistically, you shouldn't be putting any light in front of your display anyway. And also the Quantum Dot OLED displays, while they might not get as bright, they will very likely have better color volume at higher brightness, as has been true in the past for every single W OLED versus Quantum Dot OLED that I have seen. So with that being the case, what we can take away from that is the Quantum Dot OLEDs will not only be glossy by default, which is honestly a huge deal, but also they will be much better for HDR. They'll be far more accurate and they won't look nearly as washed out. They'll look far more vibrant than the LG counterparts, at least to me. That's what I've noticed, and I expect that to be the case going forward as well, as W OLED has the white subpixel, which really has to kick in at those higher brightness levels. So I did want to bring this to your guys' attention, though, because if you are looking for a display that's going to be higher brightness, and to be honest, after I buff this thing out, probably have actually a better coating than the Quantum Dot OLED version, which of course, I wouldn't be able to buff that out as it's already glossy, well, then this could be a really good option for you, and it's something I'm definitely gonna be very, very interested in checking out. So don't immediately throw this one aside because of that matte finish. That's how I was feeling before, but now that I know how to buff them out, 
yeah, this could be really, really good. Oh, also they have a new 39 inch and 34 inch, 3440 by 1440, as you can see on screen right now, 240 Hertz. So those will be some other good options as well. But since they're curved, I won't be able to buff those out very efficiently. So I'm not gonna be very interested in them as I, I'm, I'm done with matte finishes. I ain't doing it, nope. I'm out. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that all three of these displays should be launching sometime in 2024. If we're lucky, the first half, but it could be the second half of 2024. So there could be a lot of time for the QD OLEDs to be on the market before these release, but who knows, maybe LG will surprise us like they did with their MLA OLEDs last year and rush them out much sooner than we expect. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin flexible and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.